Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to do a makeshift speed editor using nothing but an older device or your phone or whatever you have laying around. Only thing you're going to need is an app called Touch Portal. Once you download it and set it up, you can essentially map buttons, use it as a makeshift speed editor. The advantages of this, even if you have the speed editor, is that you can customize stuff that is not on the speed editor such as one tap slow motion or one tap stabilize especially if i'm editing weddings and stuff i'm using a lot of slow motion on a lot of clips and i usually have to go press the r button type in 40 percent press enter and then my clip will be slowed down but with this it's kind of nice because it has a slow mo button you just select the clip tap it done <laughs> it's already in slow motion it's like magic and if you use this in conjunction with a, with, a, with a color panel that already have the transport control that will kind of make it a lot closer to the speed editor so if you're like me and you order the speed editor and then it's taking months and months and months to get here this will give you a little taste stay tuned let's hop on to the computer so now we're going to start, I'm going to put my mouse away and then we're going to start using just this makeshift speed editor. We have our transport controls right here and uh, our playback controls right here. We have an undo button over here and the rest is all controlled through the phone. I have a switch between the timeline and the source. So if I tap that, I go into the actual source. And I have a button here for source tape. There's no button for jog. So one way of quickly moving around shots is to actually just use the arrow keys for the next shot. And then like that, you can quickly move on to other shots. Let's say, for example, this one. And then we want to find a point in time right here. See right here. We'll set our in point and then we can set our out point right there and then we can append this to the timeline if i want to go out to into the timeline just press the source slash timeline button and now i'm into the timeline if i want to preview the edit i can just hit play right now it's just a straight cut and if i want to add a transition i do have a button set for the transition i'll just tap it right there and it'll add the transition there you go I also have a button map for slow motion so say if I want this clip right here to be in slow motion I select the clip and then I press press the slow motion button right here and it instantly adds slow motion to that clip so it's already in slow motion so we can just quickly move on find another shot that we want to use say for example this one we can press source tape again to get a zoomed in view if you will and we'll do an in point right there and then we'll do an out point as an approaching the dress right here and then we can append to the end of the timeline let's go back to the timeline we can add um, a transition right there and also we can select, let me uh, select this clip and add slow motion to that as well. Okay, let's hit play. Beautiful, so we have a nice transition over there. Nice, and I also have a button here to cut the clip and I can select it, delete it. I already have an in and out point set for this. I'll just append it into the timeline go back into the timeline we'll add a transition there hit play it's a little bit shaky so I, if i wanted to add uh, some stabilization what i can do is just select the clip and hit the stabilizer button and it does the stabilization automatically and previewing this back that looks a lot better so there you have it guys as you can see this makeshift speed editor i have not had to use my mouse much other than selecting a couple of things one thing that i have not been able to do is for example um 
slipping a clip because there's no way to actually select the clip and, and move it. But even so, with the, with the limitations, it still speeds up your workflow. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually um, program this thing. So after you go into the App Store, right? Search for Touch Portal, install it. I got the paid version. If not, you can get by with the free version, but I definitely recommend the paid version. You're gonna open it and setting it up. Uh, one thing you gotta make sure is that the IP address of your computer is uh, set properly. And then you're gonna do the same thing once you come to the app right here, just make sure your um, IP address and ports and all of that stuff is set. Once you have it set, uh, this is what you're gonna have to do to, uh, to set up the buttons. I'm gonna quickly create a button here. A lot of these buttons are simply uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you click on a button and then it has an action here. So for example, this is just a keyboard press. You uh, scroll up and find a virtual key press. Tap that, type in your, um, the, the shortcut right here. Right now is I for uh, endpoint. So you just put in I and you add, as you can see, add it there and then you hit save. Adding the transition. There's no keyboard shortcut for the transition in DaVinci Resolve for the cut page, not that I could find. One workaround is that uh, over here, this actually allows you to emulate mouse clicks. So by doing a mouse click on exact location, for this is where the transition is, you can essentially have a button where you can press and have a transition, just like in a speed editor. So what we're gonna do is have a mouse click, just double tap that, type of mouse click, a single left click button is enough, and it, it says the duration, you can leave it at the default. It says press M to copy the current mouse uh, location. So you hover your mouse over the transition and then you just press M, it'll copy that location exactly. And then you can just click add and it'll add that. And every time you press that button, essentially it'll take your mouse over to the transition and click it for you and then go right back where your mouse was without you having to do it. So that's kind of a cheat way of doing it, but it works and it saves you a lot of time. So the slow motion is actually a sequence of events. This is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. This is not even coding or anything like that. You just tell it what to do, just like actions in Photoshop, and it just does it. Let's create this exact button from scratch so you guys can see uh, how to actually do it. I can go in here, create another tab. We're gonna name this slow motion slow motion now we're going to tell the the program what, what sequence of events we wanted to perform when we tap that button so first thing we want to do is tap the r button so it can open up read time control so we'll do a virtual key press we'll either click r or just press r on your keyboard it'll, it'll register press add the next thing we want is to actually double click over here so we'll be able to change that value so we'll do a mouse click and we'll do a double mouse click but we'll go left double click and the location I'll just hover my mouse where where it should be press M and then it copies that location right there click add and then once it double clicks that, I want it to type in 0.4. That'll give us 40% from a 60 frames per second clip. We'll go virtual key press. And then we'll type in 0.4. Then we'll click add. And then we'll do enter just so it can apply that. We'll do another virtual key press and then we'll do enter. 
we'll hit save. Now we have the slow motion button that we just created. Uh, what are we going to do now? We're going to test it out. Let's just bring in a random clip. We'll place it on top right here. Can mute it. Let's just preview this. Okay, say we want in slow motion. First, we need to select that clip. We just tap in slow motion. And it does it. Now it's in slow motion, as you can see. Yeah, we'll hit undo. See, it was one. We'll just hit slow motion and it does everything. And now it's in slow motion. Beautiful. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the bell notification and subscribe. And, or is it subscribe and hit the bell notification. But either way, whatever you do, make sure to drop your thoughts uh, down below in the comments. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next video. Cheers. I'm gonna go edit this wedding video now with my makeshift speed editor still waiting on the other one. Alright, goodbye.